that's why if you're walking around and you see similar names, it's uh, not by accident, there is a perfectly good explanation uh, to it. Um, you're looking for that one over there or the one over there? Uh, this amazing monument. And I always think, if walls could talk, if grounds could speak, what this place would say to you? It would tell you about the destruction and the horror that it saw here. You saw Schindler's List? You know the scene where the children were lined up and the bullet, like one bullet killed all of them? That was right here. Or the scene where children are separated from their family, where people are beaten. That's all here. And the destruction, it saw such destruction, such horror. But also, this place is a place of courage. A place of resistance. The, the head of the resistance of Krakow, their office was here in Barcelona against the 15. You, you talk about the pharmacy, right? That's resistance. That's right here, right there. The incredible resistance right here as well. But I want to tell you the most amazing story. But in order to hear the story, you have to listen. Because this story is like, it blew my mind, okay? You ready for this? Tell me you're ready. 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 Okay. ready. Okay. Can I not use the mic? Because I want to tell you this story, but I want to listen. <laughs> Listen, no listen, mic, guys, no listen, mic. no mic, this is a no mic. The Yachnuch just said, well, the truth is that when we got this young child, the parents also gave us a letter. And the letter said, please raise my child as a Jew. Please send him to Jewish relatives and make sure that the child knows that he's Jewish. So the priest said, you mean the parents wanted this child to be raised as a Jew? The parents insisted that he be a Jew? And I will not baptize him. And you must send him to his Jewish relatives in America. And so this young Shachni, after the war, was sent to relatives in America, where he became you know, a prominent Jew, raised a whole family, lots of Jewish grandchildren. That's the survival of Shachni Stanley Burns. Who's the biggest hero of this story? The priest, the family, so many heroes, right? But as Zoe said, it's true. The biggest hero of the story was Father Bokeba, the priest who refused to baptize his child. I was so curious about this priest. Who is this hero? Who is this incredible priest that refused to baptize a child? Do you know who Father Bokeba became? Pope John Paul II. Pope John Paul II is one of the most incredible heroes, and he refused to let his child become a Catholic. He refused to baptize his child. I'm not saying that's why he became a pope, because he did this great thing, but it shows about his character, about his courage, about his insistence and persistence in trying to made a child. And that's the tale of Krakow. Courage, dedication, honor, the light at the end of the tunnel. True, there was devastation right behind us in the, in the ghetto. But think about these incredible, courageous, even non-Jews, that he's Markevich, the pharmacy, Father Votova, the Yafnoches, there is so much goodness in the world, so much passion in the world to help others. That that's what we could take out of the story. A sign of the destruction of the world. Think about the heroes that we get to hear about.